Let's talk about how a CFO can impact on your cost of customer acquisition and the lifetime value of that customer. First of all, we all understand that this is all about data. It's all about information. And a CFO lives and breathes the data that's involved in running your company. So let's look at customer acquisition first. You need to understand what your total cost of marketing and sales are. So such things as the money that you're spending on your digital marketing, the amount you're spending on brochures, on advertising, the amount you're spending on marketing salaries and bonuses. And that's all included on whether you're hiring somebody on an outsourced basis or whether you have existing staff internally. In addition to that, you've also got to look at the cost of your salespeople what you're paying for base salaries and what you're paying for commissions. And you need to look at the cost of the supporting salaries that you're using for administrative staff that's supporting your sales department. In addition, you've got to also take a look at what your specific targeted marketing costs are. So are there specific programs that you've put together to draw customers in? Do you have a special program that you're providing a promotion for, special discounts? additional product that you're giving away as an incentive. Money that you're spending to go to trade shows, discounts you're providing, and things like that are all part of your general marketing costs. Now, when you add all of that together, and then you sit down and say, how many customers did we get this year? And divide the total amount of marketing and sales dollars by the amount that you, the number of customers that you've received, that will tell you what your cost of customer acquisition is. But there's another piece to this that's even more important, and that is, what is the lifetime value of your customer? The fact that you may get a customer isn't as important as how much revenue or actually net income is being driven by that customer. So taking a look at what the average number of transactions are per customer, what the average cost of that transaction is, and how many transactions they're doing during a particular period of time over the lifetime of that customer being on board with you is going to tell you what your lifetime value of that customer is. So as an example, if you have a customer that spends $500 per transaction with you and they do four purchases a month with you, well, that's $2,000 a month in purchases. And that average length of time that they're a customer of yours is 24 months that means that the lifetime value of that customer in revenue is gonna be $48,000. Now that certainly doesn't mean that you could spend $48,000 to get that customer and break even, but the issue is that that's the total revenue that you're going to be getting. And certainly the amount you spend to acquire that customer and the net income from that customer is going to be a factor that you're going to wanna to consider in your cost of customer acquisition.